Hi everyone, my name is Sam and this is Today in History. Today is Friday, October the 18th, the 292nd day of 2024. There are 74 days left in the year. On this day in 1469, Isabella I, Queen of Castile, married Ferdinand II, King of Aragon. On this day in 1851, American author Herman Melville's classic novel Moby Dick was first published as The Whale in London. On this day in 1854, the Austin Manifesto was declared, by which three U.S. diplomats communicated to Secretary of State William L. Marcy, advocating U.S. seizure of Cuba from Spain. On this day in 1867, after much opposition, a deal negotiated by U.S. Secretary of State William Seward for the U.S. purchase of the Russian colony of Alaska was approved. The U.S. flag was flown over the capital, Sitka, on this day in 1898. Puerto Rico was turned over to the United States following the Spanish-American War. On this day in 1922, the British Broadcasting Company Limited was established to be replaced by the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, in 1927. On this day in 1926, American singer, songwriter, and guitarist Chuck Berry, who is one of the most popular and influential performers in rhythm and blues and rock and roll music in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, was born. On this day in 1931, American inventor Thomas Edison, who was especially known for his critical role in introducing the modern age of electricity, died in West Orange, New Jersey. Also on this day in 1931, American gangster Al Capone was convicted of federal income tax evasion and was subsequently sentenced to 11 years in prison. On this day in 1939, Lee Harvey Oswald, the accused assassin of U.S. President John F. Kennedy, was born in New Orleans. On this day in 1956, tennis player Martina Natratilova, who dominated the sport in the late 20th century, winning 18 Grand Slam single titles, was born in Prague. On this day in 1961, the acclaimed musical film West Side Story, an adaptation of a Broadway play, was released in American theaters. It won 10 Academy Awards, including that for Best Picture. On this day in 1988, the American sitcom Roseanne, starring Roseanne Barr, premiered on ABC and became hugely popular, noted for deriving humor from the everyday struggles of middle-class families and for tackling controversial issues. On this day in 2007, after eight years of self-imposed exile, Benazir Bado, who is two-time prime minister from 1988 to 1990 and 1993 to 1996 of Pakistan, was the first woman leader of a Muslim nation in modern history. Returning to her home country, and hours later she was nearly killed when her motorcade was bombed in Karachi. She was assassinated in December. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Today is Friday, October the 18th, the 292nd day of 2024. There are 74 days left in the year.